हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट स्टार्ट अवर डिस्कशन अबाउट हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग सो द डेफिनेशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग इज द फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन बिटवीन पॉजिटिवली चार्ज हाइड्रोजन एटम ऑफ वन मॉलिक्यूल एंड द नेगेटिवली चार्ज फ्लोरिन और ऑक्सीजन और नाइट्रोजन ऑफ एन अदर मॉलिक्यूल इज कॉल्ड हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग Okay friends we know that according to the definition of the hydrogen bonding that hydrogen nitrogen oxygen and the fluorine are involved in the hydrogen bonding and the simple rule of the hydrogen bonding is that the hydrogen already covalently bonded with a fluorine can make a hydrogen bond with the lone pair of fluorine with the lone pair of the oxygen or with the lone pair of the nitrogen second rule second is that the hydrogen that is already covalently bonded with oxygen can make a hydrogen bond with the lone pair of the fluorine with the lone pair of oxygen or with the lone pair of the nitrogen whereas the hydrogen that is already covalently bonded with the nitrogen can make a hydrogen bond with the lone pair of the fluorine with the lone pair of oxygen or with the lone pair of the nitrogen here this dotted line shows the hydrogen bonding so the examples of the hydrogen bonding from our daily life are water as the most common example honey paints or glue protein soap and detergents that we are using and the dna now let's discuss the hydrogen bonding in a water molecule now look at the structure of the water molecule here it having a two lone pair and two bond pair of electrons water molecule can easily make four hydrogen bonds with other four water molecules now look at here in a diagram the central water molecule making four hydrogen bonds the red dotted line shows the hydrogen bond here the central oxygen having two lone pair of electrons in a water molecule can easily make a two hydrogen bonds with other two water molecules on the other hand the central atoms the hydrogen hydrogens can also make a hydrogen bond with other two oxygens of the other water molecules and in this way the central water molecule can easily make four hydrogen bonds therefore the hydrogen bond in a water molecule is very strong and is a perfect example of hydrogen bonding now let's talk about the hydrogen bonding in hydrogen fluoride now look at here the structure of the hydrogen fluoride here it's having three lone pair of electrons and one hydrogen atom therefore the hydrogen bonding in hydrogen fluoride is weaker than that of water we know that the halogens are the strong acid then why the hydrogen fluoride is a weak acid in the halogen series so the answer is that the hydrogen bonding in hydrogen fluoride makes the molecule difficult to donate proton therefore the hydrogen fluoride is a weak acid now look at here in a diagram here the hydrogen is embedded between the two fluorine atoms therefore it's become difficult for the hydrogen to go away from here to donate a proton friends we do washing on the daily basis but do you know that the hydrogen bonding is involved in our cleaning action so the soap and detergents also do the hydrogen bonding soap having two poles that are polar head and the non polar tail look at here the soap molecule this soap molecule having a polar head and a non polar tail and according to like dissolve like so the polar head dissolve the water that is polar in nature through the hydrogen bonding whereas the non polar tail entraps the oil grease or dirt because these are non polar in nature 
as a result the cleaning of cloths takes place if you like my video then don't forget to like share and subscribe digital chemistry